Hey, it's Spunnik, and welcome back to Alzmar's Legend. Who is Alzmar, and what is this legend? I have no idea, but I'm hoping that you guys will help me find out. For some reason, all my animations are gone. Anyway, we built a mine. Check this out. The villagers are already invading it. <laughs> we have giant, giant staircase coming down here. Mine cart that goes nowhere. Bunch of piles of riches. I need to work on the legs. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do the legs just yet. But I'm liking how this is turning out so far. And I've lit it all up to make sure no mobs can spawn. Okay. I need to fix that too, I guess. That looks really weird. But now, now it makes sense that there's a bunch of iron coming out of here, and there's way too much iron in here. <laughs> now I know what you're thinking. Oh, my animations are back. That's nice. I know what you're thinking. Spunnik, where have you been for the last week and a half? I knew that was what you were thinking. I can read your mind. Well, I've been making videos. Spunnik, how are you making videos? You haven't been anywhere for a week. And okay, look. I was making videos. Just none of them ended up working out. I had like three different videos started, and all of them ended up failing and this one this Osmar's legend video this is the fourth time fourth time I have recorded this intro because footage gets corrupted or my I forget to turn on my mic or something yeah um it, 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 a lot of the times it's my fault but still it has been a very frustrating week anyway basically my uh, plan for this area random donkey this donkey is I don't even know what he's doing. He's just been floating there this entire time. How? Why don't you... Have you ever heard of gravity? But basically, I want this to produce... Oops, this to produce iron because there's an iron form there. But also, this is why I'm going to be getting all my stone and cobblestone and my granite and diorite and stuff. And a site. If I ever need those, I can just come in here and get them by just digging out a big hole again. And so I'll just keep digging in here and digging kind of randomly maybe. And then I'll just put more wooden walkways running around places. And I think I think it could end up looking pretty cool. It's a little bit of an ongoing project beneath here. And it's also a way to just get resources. Okay, I actually want to show you one other thing real quick. Look at this. This is amazing. This is, this is all of our terracotta right here, and right next to it, our gravel. And a little bit of sand here, this probably won't last us very long, but there's a little bit of sand there that we can make use of. And check out all this gravel. Ow. So, when we ever need concrete, I can just come here and grind it. This is, I did not know that this was here <laughs> when I decided to build my, uh, build the capital here. And we're literally, like, right there. There's our buildings over there. But speaking of our capital, we gotta, we gotta make it bigger. In the last episode, we finished with building a bunch of roads. Let's build a bunch of houses for those roads.
Okay, pause. In the middle of building this, something really, really weird happened. Hold up. Pause. What? No! Cursed Minecraft, what is going on? Ugh! This is not allowed! What? Excuse me? How? There's only supposed to be one! Um... Minecraft, you're broken. I officially have no idea what is going on. There are two... Okay, I think it's safe to say that Minecraft has officially broken. I have no idea what's going on. There's two wandering traders. There's only ever supposed to be one. I mean, I guess... I guess it proved Liquid Beef wrong. He thinks that there's only one in existence, but obviously a new one spawns each time because there's two now. So, there's that on the plus side, I guess. Um, I have no idea what to say. I think I built so much that I broke Minecraft. So I guess back to building? So much building, look at this place. This is crazy. I think I built twice as much as I had over there already. And there's still a lot more I need to get done, but I am build building so much. It's insane. I'm, I'm really starting to uh, get tired of placing these four blocks, five blocks over and over again. I think what I need to do is just fill in the floor in between these these houses and stuff, and then, then I'll be good. I just need to change the blocks for a bit. But I am also a little tired of building at the moment. I need to do something something redstone-y. I, I has been so many episodes since I built a redstone farm, and flying around here, there's a big empty spot right here, which I think would be perfect for building a redstone farm. I do want to be careful uh, how many farms I built in one area, though. I don't want another all-craft situation happening. Ow. I don't want another all-craft situation happening where I lag out my world. Um, so I'm going to try to spread them out a bit. And I think this will probably be the last one I build in this location. Because we've already got the iron and we've already got the gunpowder. But the gunpowder does lead me to another problem. 
This is my rocket box, but there's not really many rockets in it. There's a ton of gunpowder, but paper? Uh, paper, I still, I'm still farming this by hand. Look at this. So ugly. It's bugging me. I need a proper sugarcane farm, so I'm gonna hurry up and make that. A zero tick one would be nice, so that I would only have to turn it on when I really needed it. Um, but I think a little one with the observers and pistons will be good. I've crafted up some supplies that I'll be using, and um, yeah, let's start building this. The shadow actually looks really cool. I, I imagine it's coming. Yeah, from those iron bars over there. Oh, now it's just gone. Okay. <laughs> Shaders are weird. But here we go. We have a little paper factory. When I get the villagers in here, I'm going to uh, line this with some workstations. I have a few uh, specific workstations that went out. And I chose them based on the sounds that they made. Uh... Maybe we'll do that next episode. I chose the ones that uh, will make sounds that sound like they're producing paper. So I think that'll be interesting. Well, this was fun to do a different uh, palette, kind of a totally different build style. And if I come up here, I actually did a roof. <laughs> I'm so bad at roofs, especially for huge buildings like this. Now I'm now I'm stuck in the iron farm. But um, I actually built the roof for this one, and I actually like how this turned out. It's not. I mean, it's not the whole medieval, the whole medieval kind of feel that this most of the rest of this place has. It's kind of a more factory-esque build, but I guess it is a paper factory, so 
make sense. But I think that's one of the things that I absolutely love about building in fantasy is you can build something that's slightly out of the range of what it's supposed to be, but no one questions it because it's, it's, fan it's fantasy. It's fantasy. And even though it's totally different colors, it really, it like, I mean, it stands out quite a bit, but it kind of also blends in at the same time and fits with everything else, in my opinion, at least. I wasn't even going to build it out of granite originally. I was going to, oh, there are so many villagers right here. Wow. Okay. I was originally going to build this, the um, same that I built all the other buildings with the this dark goat color. But I had built the inside out of um, granite, and then I had a bunch of granite left over, and not nearly enough for this. But I just started building out of granite to outline it, and I think it look, ended up looking really cool. I... I was going with glass a lot for the inside of this originally, but then I ended up sw swapping it out for the iron bars because I thought it went really cool with the granite. And then I ended up making these huge windows out of granite, giant iron bars, and I went around the sides, made all the windows on the sides out of iron bars, and I think they look really cool both from the inside and from the outside. And look at this shadow! It looks so amazing! Well, that's interesting. I should put an iron bar right there to keep that from happening. I'm assuming that just went all the way out there and then fell like that. But you can see it's actually making sugar cane. And no, it's not making it very fast. But then again, our gunpowder farm isn't very fast either. And we don't need a ton of rockets. We just need enough to be able to fly. And that's really all I use people. I guess I use them for maps too. And maybe I'll make a bigger farm in some other city that's supposed to be making paper because this is really just supposed to be iron rockets not paper necessarily so if there's a city that specializes in paper somewhere I can build that too I feel like this would look like a bit of a cooler factory if there was like smokestacks coming out of it but at the same time I feel like that wouldn't fit in with the whole fantasy thing like that would be just going a little bit too far or maybe I've just had this thought. What about like a magic kind of fantasy thing? Smoke. Like blue, orange smoke, um, purple, I don't know. Hey, one of these guys, you thought you could hide. <laughs> you know, people do keep complaining that these guys are so useless. But, I don't know, I really enjoy having access to leads really early in the game. Wow, I think this place is really, really starting to look pretty cool. Let me... It's actually starting to look like a, an actual city that is coming together. Obviously, there are random big holes in the ground, but if you don't look at those, it looks, it looks pretty cool. And I want this to spread out over... The rest of this landscape quite a ways and then a palace somewhere maybe a few other places of town but that will do it for this episode but thank you so much for watching and if you haven't subscribed yet be sure to do that and become a part of the Spunion pack and if you felt like the video was worth a like that would mean the world to me but i will see y'all in the next episode god bless i am glitching out of reality again I kind of want to know now if I'm going to do this all the way to the ground.